Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I have another art video for you. In today's video I'm going to be painting this lovely flamingo in ink, so it's black and white. Um, yeah, I guess I do kind of prefer colored flamingos obviously, but it still turned out very nice and I hope you enjoy my painting process. Remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy my painting process and possibly learn something or draw along with me. Let me know what you think of the painting and uh, yeah, on to the painting process. So I've already sketched out um, my flamingo here and I'm going in with my ink uh, dip pen. I'm just doing the outline gently. I really enjoy using this dip pen when I'm using ink. And really you can go for quite a time without having to refill it. The little reservoir in the nib really lasts for quite some time. Only thing is I've kind of destroyed it with uh, not washing off the ink properly afterwards. Normally the nib is golden and not black. And this ink of course is waterproof so um, yeah I should make an effort to clean it up a little bit better. <laughs> Anyway, I've just uploaded um, a little update to, to what I've been drawing and painting so far this month. And um, yeah, I mentioned I would maybe try and make some stickers or prints of some of my drawings. And actually, I've sent off for those prints yesterday. Um, yeah, I think three different paintings I've ordered as prints. And I've also ordered some stickers. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to find out how they turn out. I was really tempted to also order a cup with one of my designs on it. Um, yeah, just for myself because I wouldn't really know how to ship that safely. But um, yeah, I, I didn't. I don't have any room for more cups at the moment. <laughs> Maybe next time I order, I'll order one of those for myself. Or what do you think? Would you be interested in a cup with one of my designs on it? I think the black and white designs kind of look nice um, in a little square format on a white cup. I'm painting in the black background before I finish the flamingo itself. Just kind of wanted to see what it looks like. And it is always my favorite part, painting in the black background. I hope I'm not ruining my watercolour brushes with all of this permanent ink. I'm trying to clean them as best I can, of course. And the issue with the beak was that it's also black at, this, uh, at the tip. And um, I hadn't thought of that when I painted on the black background. So I have to make sure to leave a little white line so you can see where the beak ends. Oh yeah, I tried to put in a little bit of white there because I'd gone a bit too far with the black ink. some shadows on the feathers with the ink around the neckline it's fairly dark adding some shading to the beak I just kind of thin out the paint or the ink as much as I need it and um, yeah it takes a lot of water really to, to get the ink this, this light I'm using a little um, egg holder out of my fridge for um, for the ink, so yeah, I probably ruined that as well, but we never really use it anyway. <laughs> Putting in 
some light grey feathers. Just using the shape of the brush for this. And throwing in some darker feathers in between. Here the long feathers in the back area of the flamingo. Just using longer strokes for this. Sorry about my head appearing a little bit on screen. paper I actually have the chance to work a little bit wet into wet so with those lighter grey feathers I was able to add some dark colour, some, some dark ink at the side and kind of bled into each other a little bit Suggesting them really. kind of save time to be painting monochromatically you don't have to worry about selecting colors and endless glazing it does mean you kind of finish the painting faster with a similar effect except of course <laughs> it's only in one color enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. Take care, bye bye!